here's the before uh, the 505 battle. You can see I've used a lot of uh, UHWMP tape to kind of make it nice and smooth, but it's a pretty small hole for a big kite to get sucked into. You can see appeared at the bow, and so the problem we keep running into is we keep snagging the, this is where the head stay comes through, and we keep snagging the spinnaker in here on the takedowns. And so what I'm gonna build is a carbon fiber cowling that's gonna go over this whole area, make it a nice smoother transition for the spinnaker, and hopefully so that we don't snag the kite in here anymore did this a long time ago on my first 505 so hopefully my skills of uh, carbon skills have gone up since then and we'll be able to uh, have a good uh, solution here all right stay tuned so we got it all cleaned up still needs a little bit more acetone but you can see what we're dealing with so not really much structure here we're going to cut out all this right here and then there's going to be this whole cowling that's going to go over the top and it's going to be bumped up around here and we're going to build it right here over the top of everything here. You're gonna see my, my fun little method, little arts and crafts. All right, stay tuned. Right, so now you can see I trimmed away all the broken fiberglass here. So we're gonna build this all up and make a new, whole new front end. But here we are progressing. So working on the bow here. So now we got it all covered in blue tape. So this is gonna be the beginning of our, uh, I guess like our mold surface. And then we're gonna cover in some packing tape and then uh, my secret weapon and you'll see okay so now we got packing tape everywhere and then here's my secret weapon i just happen to have a big old glob of uh of clay you know for throwing on a potter's wheel sitting here in the shop and uh for my former life back when i used to be a metal sculptor or sculptor and so you just start by putting some clay on here and then I just started globbing it on right now, and then I'm gonna smooth it out and make it a little bit nicer so that the carbon will conform to it better. But yeah, here's the beginning. Okay, so now you saw me make this out of the clay. And so now we've got um, a mold, basically a, a male mold that we can lay the carbon over. And the great thing about it is that it'll just wash away from the carbon once the carbon's set up and they actually get along pretty good. So just uh, the hard part is getting it to, to stick initially. So but yeah, very happy with it so far. So. Do a little bit more smoothing out but yeah we're gonna start laying up some carbon over this here good times yeah, it's a bit of a mess in here but we got our wetted out carbon we got three layers of carbon here that are wetted out and then i put um wax paper on either side and what that does is that squeegee out all the excess renaissance so this is kind of like working with um pre-preg carbon so it's nice you can touch it you can move it around it's kind of like leather right now and i could just i just cut it with my scissors to the pattern and uh and now we take off one side and then we can work with it and, and put it down on the bow of the boat so uh let's go uh do that Alright, so here we are. We just uh, put on the carbon, so now it's setting up right now, but it turned out pretty awesome. So we're gonna wait till it gets to like the leather hard stage here in a couple hours. Uh, maybe less, depends. It's got some nice direct sun right now, and then uh, and then we can kind of trim it up. So it's, it's pretty clean, leaves a lot less uh, sanding work to do. So, uh, but uh, yeah, this whole area gets kind of trimmed open so that um, the head stake can come through here but yeah very happy with it so far so yeah we'll get trimmed sanded and then i'll do a little clear coat just to make it look a little sexier and then uh and then we'll millionaires tape it on it'll be this nice smooth transition for the spinnaker to to go over and so that nothing gets snagged in the head stay all right stand by all right so it's cured. It's 
pretty hard. Probably needs to do a little bit of post curing here, but uh, it got pretty hot today. So it's feeling pretty good. So now we just need to peel it off and give it some sanding because there's a lot of nice sharp edges all throughout. But overall, super happy with how it turned out. So now we got to peel it. So I'm going to start with using a little putty knife action and it should just come right up. <laughs> All right, so we got our part here. Just got it just peeled right off, as you can see from the previous little video. And I got out most of the clay. I was able to scrape it out, but now we have our our part. So it's a bit rough, obviously, but uh, we'll sand it up and uh, clear coat it, and it's gonna get the job done. So check it out. So it just goes boom right there. That's the new nose cone. Heads day comes up up here. This is all protected in there. Everything's all happy. So what do we got? We got five layers of carbon up here in the front and then the rest got three layers. I mean, you know, if there's nothing structural about it, it's just, um, it's a fairing. Um, as my neighbor just walked by, he's like, it uh, makes your boat more aerodynamic. And yeah, that too. <laughs> so, but yep, so that should do. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out so far. Stand by. Okay, we're here, back at the shop. Got it sanded down, and you know, it's not perfect, but you know what, it's gonna get the job done. Um, you can see there's a little waviness to it, but you know, we're molding uh, carbon fiber over clay, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. So now we're gonna put some clear coat on it and uh, make it look a little sexier, but it's all trimmed and ready to go back on the boat. But yeah, this is gonna save me from uh, tearing the spinnaker every single time we douse so uh yeah so it doesn't really matter what it looks like the fact that it's saving our spinnaker and it looks kind of cool all right so stand right, by so here is the finished nose cone it's got a few coats of uh west systems special clear on it and uh we're not going to put any like uv coating on it because it lives under a cover um, all the time except for when it's out sailing so it should hold up pretty nicely but yeah so now it fits in there beautifully you can see our block down and in there it's all covered and we got our new soft shackle for attaching the tack at the sail and built a new head stay purchase and so now we're gonna um, glue it in just a little bit of glue and then uh, and then we're gonna put a bunch of sail tape in there to kind of make a nice transition on the back side of this thing and a bunch of millionaires tape that low friction tape that file five guys love put it all over the place so yep so that's what's next all right all right here we are stoked the whole nose cone is all done we got it all millionaires taped up a little uhwmp tape as well some heavier stuff in there and uh yeah it's super smooth and stoked looks good and uh i think it should do the trick no more snagging the kite right here and hopefully it'll help bring the kite in a lot quicker we'll have quicker douses and sets so uh yeah all good things all right we'll report back rigged up and you can see spinner goes down inside there that's where it sucks down inside so all good sucks down inside there and then comes out up in there you can see it right there but yeah there's the takedown we're gonna go test it out today looking good <laughs> 